player in the Bundesliga make goal scoring look so easy, so effortless. Yeah, so this is really typical. We have uh, fans ask us questions every once in a while. Why do the players uh, train these very basic exercises? You'll see this is a very basic exercise, it's true, but uh, the exercises will become increasingly more difficult on the one hand and on the other. This is what uh, Carlo Ancelotti really, really wants his team to excel at. Passing precision is absolutely crucial for Bayern Munich's game and the passing statistics overall are outlandish for most uh, Bayern players and statistically uh, the entire team has just uh, absolutely outstanding uh, passing averages in their own half but also in the opposition half and then the uh, pressuring of the opponent uh, particularly after loss of possession is another crucial element of Carlo Ancelotti's uh, game which is also practiced uh, all the time. So again, players run up to the center, go to the right, go to the left, then a little pass. This is something that we'd see in all kinds of football clubs, not only, of course, on the absolute top level. It'll get a little more difficult, but these basic passing exercises are, I guess you could say, uh, still part of the warm-up program to a certain extent for uh, Carlo Ancelotti and his coaching staff. Jerome Boateng, three-month uh, injury break, finally back on the pitch with a very emotional uh, comeback this weekend. Came to help Bayern Munich uh, finish the uh, Frankfurt game. 3-0, another superior victory. Not quite as commanding, not quite as gala as uh, in the past few weeks. Everyone agreed that uh, the 2-0 halftime score was hard to explain. Stepped up after Paul Clement left the club and has taken over control uh, of many of these training exercises. Here again in a close up, Marco Friedel, Austrian under 19s uh, international. A uh, promising young man. Someone in a statement today said uh, the club uh, believes he has a realistic chance of becoming a part of the uh, professional squad. As I mentioned earlier, he's been uh, training with the team regularly for a while. Promising a young player. Again, we'll see how uh, well he does if uh, Bayern Munich can actually uh, use him, can actually uh, field him regularly. Who knows, now that they've uh, extended the uh, contract it's possible, of course, that a loan deal might uh, be an option as well. We shall see. Again, nicknamed uh, David Alaba's little brother, not only because uh, he's uh, Austrian, but because uh, Alaba has taken him under his wings, uh, so to speak. Alaba, and here they are, the two uh, Austrians, of course, is an Austrian football icon at Bayern Munich. I think we still tend to look at David Alaba as a bit of a young player because he's been at the club for so young and he joined as such a young player. But of course, in the meantime, Alaba, one of the outstanding key players at Bayern Munich, something that Marco Friedel hopes to achieve in the future at some point. We will certainly follow uh, his career and be uh, up close there. At the front of your screen here just now, Artur Vidal, who will be missing. Uh, Sunday's game in uh, Gladbach. It'll be interesting to see how Bayern Munich uh, do without him. The defensive uh, lifeline in midfield.
exercises that I'm sure amateur football players watching will have conducted themselves in uh, previous uh, training sessions of their own. Nothing too complicated or dramatic here, but Ancelotti uh, wants to keep it simple. And again, the basics are really, really important. What uh, Carlo Ancelotti uh, always demands of his players in the training session is to do everything as quickly as possible, as fast as possible. Sharp passes into the right foot, of course, it's very important as well, particularly, I suppose, in the modern game, it's become more and more uh, important to know who you're playing uh, the ball to, who know who you're passing the ball to, to get that ball over there precisely. And again, practicing the basics doesn't seem to harm the Bayern team this year. Fortunately, so far, only passing exercises. We want some tackling exercises so that Mats Hummels, the internet star of the week for his already legendary tackling against the Bani Mehul Gota on the weekend. Simple tap in, get the ball across the line of an empty goal when Hummels came storming from behind. And tackled that ball out of bounds. He said himself, for a defender, a tackle like that is like scoring a goal. Seems to have some uh, problems, I'm not sure. If he's possibly wearing uh, contact lenses. Looks like he might have some difficulties there, let's hope this won't impact his training performance. say these um, passing exercises are simple. If you look at it, I mean, these are sharp passes. Quite a distance. And interesting again, you can see here the players on the left are encouraged to chip the ball. And the players on the right pass it back low. And again, what is this, 25 yards or so? You have to play uh, precise passes or many precise passes over much longer of a distance during a game. Just watching this in peace and quiet, observing, analyzing. And then his assistants uh, conduct the session. Spring, months of March, April, May have been called the Ancelotti.
international team break coming up for friendlies and World Cup qualifiers. But after that, Bayern Munich will have plenty of opportunities to shine. The month of April will see, the month of April alone, will see nine competitive games starting April 1st against Augsburg. And then Hoffenheim on the 4th, Borussia Dortmund on the 8th. So the month starts with uh, three Bundesliga games in a week. Then uh, Champions League quarterfinal on the 11th or 12th. On the 15th, an away game, another difficult one following the Dortmund game against Leverkusen. Then again, a couple days later, second leg of the Champions League quarterfinals, 22nd of April, Mainz. Three days later again, semi-final the DFB Cup. We're expecting against uh, Dortmund, which would mean that Bayern Munich play Dortmund uh, twice within two, two and a half weeks. Tonight, uh, the uh, decision that takes place uh, when Lotte, amateur underdog, welcome uh, Dortmund. Well, I say welcome, they're playing in Osnabrück. Uh, 